Hey everybody, it's Mark out here at East Cape today. It's raining as you can see, but we're still gonna get this done. We just got back from the lake. So behind me, I've got a 2012 uh, Fury. Uh, it's like that lime green, that candy apple green. Uh, we'll start off with the trailer like usual. It's a rambling, uh, galvanized, painted over black trailer. Uh, it's got the Fulton jack stand with a Fulton winch cover, like kind of a deluxe setup going on there. Spare tire underneath. It is, it is a removable tongue. Uh, so this guy can fit in his garage, remove the tongue out, and it fits just fine. Uh, up at the front of the boat, this guy does not use a trolling motor. He likes to pull around, uh, so you don't see any trolling motor. It's nice and clean, but he does have a cleat up here, so he can tie off at the dock or tie up to something, maybe throw his anchor in, whatever. Um, standard setup, of course, you've got your fuel cell up front here and plenty of storage. Bunch of life vests in there. Over here, we've got that glove box like we talk about normally. Storage cooler, just about anything you want to utilize it for, it can be utilized for. It's a, it's a cool little thing. Trains in both gutters there, very nice. Uh, Lavorsi LED lights on here. Uh, moving back to the console, it's the center console jump seat. Uh, this is the jump seat, nice cushions on top of it. Cooler inside of there, it's insulated by about two inches of foam around the perimeter of it. it keeps everything nice and cold. Again, a nice dry storage box, uh, cooler setup, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, you can use it for. So you can see on both sides we've got uh, vertical rod holders that have been welded here at the weld shop. Um, so he can stow his rods there when he's running from A to B. Uh, he's got grab handles on both sides for his passengers to give him something to grab on. Um, set up on the dash, uh, pretty simplistic. He's got his trim tabs up here in front of the uh, throttle, key panel, tack, and all the switches that work all the components. Nice little Garmin uh, 546 GPS map system going on. Helps them out, helps them navigate. Uh, this boat's powered with a Suzuki 60. Um, puts the boat in the mid 30s. Uh, nice ride, a little skiff. Um, double thick cushions for comfort. Uh, you got plenty of storage. You can see in this live well, let me open it up for you. Nice big finished out live well, one pump system. Uh, great release well, a dry storage area, uh, bait well, whatever you want to use it for. It's a, it's a nice setup in there. Both sides here, storage. Two cup holders, so he has a place to put his beverages. Uh, platform, another uh, custom platform here, uh, built here at the shop. It's a dual step, two steps on each side with a skid tape on top, uh, so you don't slip off. It's got a T-board push pull holder up top to stow his push pull when he's out there. And wants to jump down, just snaps it in there. He's able to get down and get back up without having to worry about it. Uh, speaking of push pull, we got the uh, uh, B Marine removable push pull clips over here. A little bling factor going on. They really look good. Coming to the back of the uh, platform, you can see we've got the hook here for the East Cape Stakeout system. It's got a through hole fitting that's been bonded into the flange. It's very stout. This is probably the strongest uh, stakeout system feature uh, on the market now because it's through the flange. It's, it's part of the boat. Uh, so it fits right in there nice and snug. Um, I think that's it. It's a pretty uh, simplistic setup, uh, but yet effective. Uh, cool boat. I uh, enjoyed running this boat today. I uh, wish I could go out and fish it, but I uh, can't because this guy's going to take it. And before I leave, 12 volt plug. So you can plug in your phone, your spotlight, whatever you need to, uh, to plug in. you got some additional power. But uh, anyway, if you don't know about East Cape, you need to check us out. Uh, sweet little boat set up here. Um, check out the videos. Uh, see you.